Hello again, folks. We're praying again today on a Sunday with others around the world. Ordinary folks, many of them anonymous, just folks who've posted some prayers online. Now, at the same time, aren't we glad that we're not anonymous to God, but that he is bending down today to hear our hearts and respond to our prayers. Thankfully, we don't have to be super spiritual folks. We don't have to have a long period to study in the seminary in order to pray effectively. We just need to be ourselves, open our hearts, and share what's in there with God. We begin today with a prayer that reminds us that God has always known us even before we were born. And he's brought us to this day to speak his truth to those who are around us. You know, we may not have the worldwide, centuries-long influence that someone like the prophet Jeremiah had. But every moment, every action, every word, every day of our lives, that means today, it's important. So let's make the most of today, shall we? The Bible says, I knew you before I formed you in your mother's womb. Before you were born, I set you apart and appointed you as my prophet to the nations. Jesus, you've known us from the beginning of time. You've known us in the depths of our dreams and in the darkness of our shame. You know us as your beloved. Help us to own that core identity more and more in this season of repentance and mercy. Give us the rock solid assurance of your unwavering faith in us as we seek the same in you. Amen. The Bible also encourages us, do not grieve for the joy of the Lord is your strength. And so Father in heaven, we stand before you today in your omnipotent presence to ask that you grant us strength. We want you to give us the strength to power through all the tasks of today, whether little or big. It is by your will that we live, O oh Lord, and we know it is also by your will that we will not go weak today. We will not go lazy, nor will we fail to do all things set before us, because you strengthen us. Thank you for your everlasting presence, Lord. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The Bible promises us, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my loving eye on you. Well, God, we do ask for your guidance today as we move into the opportunities you put before us. Do not let us stray from your path, for you are our shepherd, O Lord. Let your staff prevent us from any error and let your eyes watch over us and protect us from all danger. You're the only God, and no matter is too big for you, Lord. So flatten all the things that seem like big mountains and help us in faith. To know that with you, any mountain can be moved. So your kingdom comes and your will is done in our lives today. Amen. A piece of uh, wisdom from Proverbs chapter 17. A cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. So God, grant us tenacious, winsome courage as we go through this day. When we're tempted to give up, help us to keep going. Grant us a cheerful spirit when things don't go our way and give us the courage to do whatever needs to be done. Amen. And I love these words. Not that I was ever in need, for I've learned how to be content with whatever I have. I know how to live on Almost nothing or with everything. I've learned the secret of living in every situation, whether it is with a full stomach or empty, with plenty or little. For I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. Help us love the life we live right now, Lord. Show us the good things we often overlook. Help us to be content with what we have. Forgive us when we compare ourselves to others. Forgive us for longing for things outside of you and your kingdom. But thank you for loving us right where we are, right as we are. 
help us to keep our eyes on you. Amen. And then we're challenged. Be kind to each other, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, just as God, through Christ, has forgiven you. Lord, we thank you for looking beyond our faults and for loving us unconditionally. Forgive us when we fail to love others in the same way. Give us eyes to see the needs of the difficult people in our lives and show us how to meet those needs in a way that pleases you. Amen. Well, let's conclude these short moments together in God's presence with these words of blessing. May our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father who loved us and by his grace gave us eternal encouragement and good hope Encourage your hearts and strengthen you in every good deed and word. May the Lord make his make your love increase and overflow for each other and for everyone else, just as ours does for you. May he strengthen your hearts so that you will be blameless and holy in the presence of our God and Father when our Lord Jesus comes with all his holy ones. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Wonderful words, wonderful blessings to carry with us through this day. Have a great day.